Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly, and today we are going to make an art journal cover. And you can see I have two boxes sitting here. This is the Airwick Pure, and you can see it has a opening, and I love these. Also, I have my good old trusty pasta box, and this has an opening as well, but there's plastic. So we're going to play and see, uh, you know, some new ways to do things. Now, um, if you are new to my channel and you just found me, hi, <laughs> my name is Kelly and I love to do mixed media and, uh, polymer clay and I love to sew and quilt and draw and color and, uh, jewelry. I love it all. I am like a mixed artist, I guess, um, where I just love to do it all. So if you would like to be subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it. I would love if you would uh, be part of our family here. I upload about four, five, six times a week, depending on how I'm feeling. And I just love it. And if you ever have any uh, requests or anything that you want to see, all you have to do is hit me up, either leave it in the comments or you can find me. Uh, all my social media is down below and let's get going. Here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is take our box. And most boxes, if you peep inside, you will see that it has like a little seam. And that is where you want to open it. Now, I've done these before. Uh, I've made journals. I love taking um, brown paper bag and making it faux leather. So, I mean, you can really decorate these in different ways. And look, it's ripping it. It doesn't matter. I'm just opening it up. Opening it up. Now you can also use these uh, boxes if you lived with me. I don't know that you would like to. I'm a bit of a cardboard hoarder, which means I'm a junk hoarder. Let's face it. I have more boxes around my home, uh, whether it's an Amazon box, whether it is a, a pasta box. I, I mean, it's everywhere. Uh, even metal. I, I just, I save everything. I'm just save it. Okay. So you can see this is going to be our front. This is going to be our back. And when I peeled it off, it peeled this part, which I don't care because I'm going to cut this off anyway. And these are going to be the front and back, and this will be our spine. So I'm going to grab my scissors. And if you are, <laughs> I'm not a very um, straight kind of person. I can't cut straight. I can't draw straight. Um, so do your best. And I'm just going to go for it. You can also bend these back and forth. And I like to put a, just a little bit of water on my finger. I do this with paper as well. This is called Kelly's Lazy Day Way. And I will go like this. And then I'll bend it a couple times just so it gets a little more pliable. And then... I will look at that. Look at that. Da, 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 da. And that's what I did. Now, do you have to throw this away because of this? No, you can just kind of peel off the extra paper that you kind of have. And then you can measure it and you can make, like I said, these can be ATC backs. Uh, gesso it uh, on both sides or take some scrapbook paper and just Mod Podge that stuff all over. Make yourself, uh, you know, ATC blanks. So if you're in a swap or you just want to play around, you have them start, you know, kind of saving them uh, in, a, in a folder or whatever you have. And then you'll have them ready when you are ready to do your ATC. Okay, so you can see that went real nice. Now I have this piece and again, you can cut it, but I will show you the lazy acrylic one. I just bend it and then I just take a little water. I'm just dipping it in my paint water because... <laughs> It's there and I'm not, you know, going to get up and get any more water. And I just bend it back and forth and that kind of thing. And you can almost see it kind of already doing its thing there. And then you just take a little tear or you can use your scissors. Let's do that. It'll be easier like that. Just a little bit. And then oh, this is just a yucky side here. You can. This will not peel here. Maybe I need more water. No, see, it's going to separate first, which is fine. It's all going to come off. There you go. Whatever way you get there, you get there. You know what I'm saying? If it bothers you, use scissors. I'm just trying to show 
some different ways. Okay, okay. So now you can see how we can make a uh, art journal cover. Now, these pieces here are optional. You can keep them on there. Um, you can cut them down to this size right here so they all match. Um, and you can see on both sides, that's what it does. Uh, I think just for ease, I'm just gonna cut it off. I'm just gonna cut them off. And I'm not gonna bother with the wet and I just wanna get it done. Okay. Now, again, do you need to throw these pieces away? According to my husband, Dave, yes. Why are you saving them? Even Emily, like what? No, but you can, like I said, you can make ATC cards, inchies. I know you guys keep asking me about making inchies. Uh, maybe I'll save, I'll save these and then we'll do some inchies. That's what we'll do. Inchies are cool. Um, okay, Cal, come on. Okay. I will save these for inches. Okay, so now you see, we're getting there, right? So what the heck is even that? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, oh my God, I have 30 million things I'm doing here. And if you saw my table next to where I sit out in the living room, you'd be like, girl, come on now. It's a mess there too, I'm everywhere. Okay, <laughs> everywhere. We want to measure this, make sure it's flat. And it is three inches. So obviously, what's half of three inches? One and a half. I didn't even have to have anybody tell me that. Although my half thing's there. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the half. And I'm going to, for me, because I have a hard time comprehending and um, <laughs> drawing and uh, measuring and all that fun stuff, I'm just going to kind of keep going down and marking and then I'll do a couple up here and then I can line it up better so I can, um, you know, measure. Come on there, Cal. I tell you, medication, not fun. Okay. And I'll just go like this. You get the idea. I'm just, <laughs> look, I got a mark there wrong. Oh, why, am I, why didn't I even move in? What the heck is even happening? Okay. So I'm going to take my, these are, this is a uh, Tim Holtz ideology, I don't know, you know, ruler. I don't know if they make different kinds uh, other than Ranger or Tim Holtz. Maybe you can get them at the dollar store cheap. I don't know. You can see this is about, this is probably a good 10 years old. I mean, it's old. But what's nice about it is um, it's, see, it's like slanted. So, and it has little, I don't know if I can show you this. It has little holes here, so you can stick a like a pointy thing in there um, to mark if you want to do a little holes or any of that kind of thing. And then this side's flat, so I, I like it for when I do this kind of stuff because I can bend up, and I will show you that in a minute. So I'm just gonna put my uh, ruler here now for my sake, because I do have issues with measuring and all. I am just gonna put a line here. You don't have to. What you can do and why I like this ruler, which you can really use any ruler, but you dig what I'm saying. I am going to fold it up on that, right? Because we're going to be making our, that's our, going to be our spine. Now, let me show you something that I've been obsessed with. It is a T-square. Now, I went to buy me a T-square because obviously my husband doesn't have one, he says, but I do believe he does. And I think he's right. His is like the extra big construction-y kind of thing, right? So I went to the store and I thought, I want to just get a T-square for help for me because I do have a, help, a problem with straight. So this was $2.99. It's a kid's one. I got it AC Moore. It is where all the paint and everything is. And I used the coupon because I'm cheap. And, it, you know, it's not going to really do much for this, but because it's very thin, but I will show you in another thing, but you see, then you put the edge there and then you can really do straight lines and whatnot. And I really am going to try to play with this and put money aside to see if I can afford uh, the art T-square that they have there. I think it was $25. Um, so, you know, that kind of thing. So I wanted to show you guys that, but anyway, you know, you do your best and you do your thing. And if it's not all the way even, who cares? But you can see, right? So then I fold it 
I took the ruler out. I like to kind of take something, this is empty, so, but I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to clean it out and use it for something else. I don't know why. I might mix some colors in there to start doing some colors. Okay, so, la da da. So now, now you can see, you know, you got some squigglies there. If it bothers you, which it's going to bother me there, the little squigglies, and that could be my fault. It could be, who knows. So I'm just going to kind of cut it till it's a little bit more um, even. And then look, so far, so good. So far, so good. A million ways we can fill this, but we're not going to fill it yet. We are going to gesso it. My gosh, the lights, the lighting keeps changing outside and it's not being friendly. Let's see if that'll do. Well, that's a little better, a little dark, but that's okay. So I have my gesso. And I'm going to, are you Kelly? Are you really going to? This is almost gone. So just going to do this. I'm going to grab a bigger brush because, or you can use a sponge brush. You can use a makeup brush. You use whatever you have. Okay. I know so many of you are starting out and it is overwhelming because there's so much that you get to see with YouTube, YouTube's a fantastic place, but I'm going to tell you something. I am, I'm obsessed with makeup and I, Emily and I, my daughter has her own makeup channel, but her and I, what the heck was I thinking when I was doing this with all this just so, um, we do, I'm going to put the rest of this on the back of this box because I'm going to be using this as well. Oh, $4. Oh, I did take that coupon out. I was going to say $4 off. Hello. Um, so I do enjoy watching the beauty gurus and when new stuff comes out, I'm a Jeffrey, uh, star freak. And when new stuff comes out and he has a lot of stuff coming out, I get very jealous because I can't afford all of it. And I want the new stuff. So I understand leave that as, you know, don't get that adjusted if you can help it. But you know, so I understand. And I get like that with the art products too. There's so many things, you know, and I, I'm very lucky. I am a plaid ambassador, but, um, you know, there's a little more, there's a lot of art supplies. There's a lot of makeup. Okay. So you can see, I kind of want that, um, covered. I can't talk and do this at the same time. So many things I want to talk about, but some aren't, uh, appropriate for art. <laughs> so we'll do that another day, but yeah. So, you know, I understand becoming new to all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to very carefully do my best to, I should just get a smaller brush because you know, that would make it easier, but not me. I like to make it as hard as can be for myself and then mine because I got it on there, but it's because it's plastic, it will um, come off. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second while I just kind of throw this. I mean, what the heck was I even thinking spraying all that just so but killing two birds with one stone. Who, uh, who doesn't like that? Now this one has an open thing, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. I will do that in another video because I have some really cute ideas for that. So we're just going to lay him over there and I am very quickly going to do this. I've got some silver leaf on there. Just so dry so fast. Acrylic paint dries so fast. I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but I, I lowered all the prices in my Etsy uh, shop for like my art doll quilts, my makeup, uh, makeup, I got makeup on the brain, uh, jewelry, all that kind of stuff. I lowered, uh, I lowered all the prices. So I think like earrings are like five 99 and the art quilts I think are 15 or 10. So if you want to go check it out, go ahead. I'd appreciate it. Now I'm going to do is pick this up for a second right here, just to get the wetness of this off because I walk around with more paint on me. 
I love it. It's what I do. Okay. There we go. Okay, so here we are. So now you depend, you decide, let me get a drink. What do you want to do? Do you want to put um, paper, scrapbook paper on the outside? Do you want to paint it? Do you just want to throw a coat of something down? You want to add some texture. You want to add some strength. You can put, uh, I call it molding paste, modeling paste, whatever your little heart desires. You could uh, do that with stencils or just freehand, which is wonderful. I have these, which is off of the clown thing I made. It's eight o'clock. Um, and you can do this as texture. You can just glue it down and it's texture. So don't, you know, if you go to the, uh, how you say, a Goodwill or a thrift store, whatever you call it, and you know, they always have like these kind of things, you know what I mean? Like the kits or whatever, people are always getting rid of it. You can get it for a buck come home, rip it up. You're making your own paper mache kind of thing. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, always do that kind of stuff. I think today I told you guys, I'm obsessed with the color shift paint. Obsessed. I've got a lot of experiments going on. So I don't know. Should I do this? Should I not? You can use watercolor if you want. You can use crayons, markers, um, geez, crayon markers, colored pencils, watercolor pencils, your ink pads. I mean, you really can use anything. So I think, like, let me show you the ink pad thing. Let me see if I can get a decent color. Yeah, that's peacock feathers. It's distressed ink, but of course, any ink pad uh, that you have. And let me grab, grab, grab. Oh, don't hit your head, Kelly. Don't hit your head, girl. I'm going to grab this. And these are, um, you can get these inexpensively. Yeah, this is a plaid one, but uh, this is one I've had forever. But you can get these cheap at the dollar store. Always go to your dollar store and look. So I have this. And I can, you know, I can wet it a little bit with some glycerin, a little bit of water if I want. But I'm going to go in first like this. And you see how we're getting that blue? And I can go in and rub, let's say I wanted certain colors, certain, maybe I want to make it tie dyed or whatever. So you can do that. If I wet it just the slightest in my water, I'm going to tap off a little bit. I don't want to wet it too much in here and I'll stick with one side. So it stays damp and it goes in there and you can see. It gets a little lighter. Okay. So that's one thing that you can do. I did not draw this good enough. Come on now. All right. So that's, if you have ink pads, you can sit and do that. You can do every color under the sun. Isn't it pride month or something like that? You can make this, you know, Roy G. Biv, do your flag and all that kind of stuff. I mean, there's so many things you can do, but I think I'm going to do pink. And I'm going to just take my pink uh, acrylic paint. Oops, I don't even know what color this is. Rose or graffiti pink. Um, and I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And this will become a layer. Now, look, there's nothing wrong with doing this. And, oh, my God, hello. Doing this and then saying, you know what? I don't dig it. And I'm just going to use the same, the same brush. It's not going to hurt nobody. And if it mixes a little bit with the gesso. Now you can see this brush is, um, would be great to do a dry brush with. Look at that. Oh, 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 yes. I'll be doing that one later. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So go across there. Now you could take a little painter's tape, which I have sitting right there, not using it to my benefit, uh, to blank off this little, uh, window, but you don't have to. Oh my God, I should have just used a brush. It would have just been so much easier. I love to do things the hard way and then cry and complain about it, even though I'm the one who chose to do it like that. Why not? Because I have all the energy in the world. You're almost making kind of a crackle looking thing, which I'll show you. I can see it's coming up a little brighter on the uh, 
computer than it is in life. This is more of a rose color, like I said. Okay. So you can see very... Now, I need, like if you touch it with your finger, it's come up. But that's a very pretty color. But like I said, it's more... It's more, um, I don't know if you can see this, no, but do you see the scratches? How cool that is on the outside. That's very, uh, you know, um, grungy and I do love the grunge. I know you guys get sick of seeing the grunge, but I love it. And if I find a different way to do things and to get a grunge, which these are going to be my new favorite things, you're going to be sick of them. And you guys are going to be like, no more Kelly. Okay. And remember, this is the outside. Or look, you can make it the inside. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Maybe, you know, you'd rather do something with this side. Cause I have to paint this side anyway, but oh, the fingerprints girl, stop touching it and don't go over it when it's dry, Kelly. Oh my God. How do you even get on YouTube, Kel? All right. But you can see, okay. So I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to show you what to do with this window. I can touch up everything later. I do dig this. But I don't know, once it's dry, once the window's done, then I can decide where to go from there. And I'm not going to, it'll, it'll be another video. I'm not going to waste your time. This is just how to get started. I have a million different ways how we can make this into uh, an art journal. Whether we stitch it or do my favorite yarn technique. but I do want to dry it. It doesn't have to be completely dry because we're not going to be open it. Okay, so I'm going to pick a couple of things of alcohol ink. If you don't have alcohol ink, it's all right. Life's, you know, life will still be okay. Just get um, some watered down acrylic paint. I need a pink. Do they even have pink uh, alcohol ink? I don't know. I tell you, I have 20 colors of this green, you know it. Because why? Because I love it. All right. So I'm going to probably make this the outside. So what I'm going to do is lay it down. Lay it down. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to sing a rat song. Lay it down. All right. So you can see I have this inside and that's where it will be. So what I'm going to do is now I don't have my inky thing here either. God, I'm so, I'm just so good. So good. Just such a good YouTuber. All right. So I'm just taking, uh, was this citron? I think. Yeah. Citrus. And these are fun and you can do, you, like I said, you could do, uh, as many things as you want. I am just going to put some dots in here right now. I can't open. And just touch it. This is going to be like a, I don't know if you're supposed to shake them. I do because I'm always like something has to be settling on the bottom unless it's water. And then if something's settling on the bottom, I don't want to know. That could make me really ruin my day. Now that'll mix and give us some purple. That's what I like to do for the most part is have thing colors that mix. Like I could have done a yellow and that would have made, now, if you have your, uh, thing, you can move it all around. You can, you know, do all that kind of fun stuff. I'm not doing that today, but I just want to show you that this opening is fantastic. Just to kind of, I do have the blender, but I, I don't, because there's a liquid blender you can use too. I think I might have too much blue. Let's do some red. In the middle. And then what you can do, because this is the inside, you know, we're, we haven't done it yet. You can kind of move them around, mix them. You can see the dark colors taken over. You can, I can't find my dab. I know I have a dabber. Wait. This isn't the dabber you use, but it's a dabber I'm going to use. Okay. Why did the light change? It's <gasps> okay. So you can see. I can dab all around if I want and make it like that. 
Or maybe I want to suck some of it up because I want to put, you know, a green and a blue. Maybe do like, now look how cool that is. And then I'll do a little blue because we're going to be covering this, everything except that. So we don't necessarily, uh, there you go, baby. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. And don't waste this. You could, you know, not that because it's not dry, obviously. Um, put it anywhere you want. You know, like if you have your art journal page here, it's not wrong. Like I have this uh, paper lace, you know, so maybe you want to use it on something and you can just go in. It's just going to, you know, you can squish it around, whatever you want. I don't think I use that side. And then just get the color off. That'll work good. Now it looks like it blew some of the, oh no, that's pretty. Can you see that? Look how pretty that is. I'll put a page behind it so you guys can see it. Will you, Kelly? Can you find a page? No, nope, can't find a page. So we shall do this. Just on something white. Look at that. You see? Now I could see right there where that green, it's a little light. So I can put the littlest bit of red. Yeah. And just let it blow. Okay. That'll be that. I could sit here and play all day. No need to. Look how pretty. Oh yeah. So when you go to do this, once you get it all done, you could take a piece of printer paper uh, or your scrapbook paper whatever, and put it on the back side. So then once you're all done, what happens is you get to see those beautiful colors through that little window. Now you could put, um, oh gosh, the stuff you could do. You could build that and, you know, put like maybe, uh, some hearts or butterflies or where's the one things I bought. I can't find them. Anyway, little P a little, uh, gems, whatever you want. And, you know, that'll help that. Glitter, some stickles, whatever you want. Because once this is dry, it's going to be pretty good. So that's where we're at for that. And again, you know, color is only up to you. Just going to hit this real quick. Uh, you can also use like envelopes, right? When you get envelopes in the mail, oh, that's another thing I hoard. I rip them apart. I have a couple sitting here. I don't even know what the heck happened. Um, but you can rip those apart and keep that front part where that cellophane is and just use that. I've done that before. So this is where it starts. I just have to touch this up. It's in red there. I just have to touch it up and, you know, and then decide what I'm going to do for the back. But this is a great start. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys do this, and like I said, I'm going to come back, um, and show you guys different, uh, techniques on how to get your paper in here. What, what things I think are important, how to build it in different ways that you're not just having a piece of paper. If you only have printer paper, guess what? Do it. So let me know what you guys And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I can't stress that enough as of late and, um, progress, not perfection. We're getting there. You want your own journal and you can't go out and buy it, but you had pasta last night. Hello. I love you guys so very much. And let me know what you guys think down below. And if you are new, like I said, I'm very grateful. So I'm grateful for all of you, all of you. I hope y'all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.